Breaking tonight, outrage and disbelief in Washington and beyond tonight as videotape surfaces showing Planned Parenthood admitting, even celebrating, its practice of harvesting the organs of aborted fetuses for money. Welcome to The Kelly File, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. And before we go any further, we need to warn you that the news in our lead segment tonight is very disturbing. It also happens to be very important, and we believe you need to see it. It involves Planned Parenthood, a health care network that last year served more than 4 million patients and took in over half a billion tax dollars in the process. Yesterday, a group called the Center for Medical Progress, a pro-life group, released a hidden camera recording of a woman identified as Dr. Deborah Nukatola. She is the senior director of medical services for all of Planned Parenthood. She is seen having lunch with actors who were posing as buyers for a fetal tissue procurement center. And they are asking her about obtaining aborted fetus body parts. Here is just a portion of that video that as of tonight has led the U.S. House of Representatives and at least two states to launch investigations. And we warn you, it is terribly graphic. How much of a difference can that actually make if you if you know what kind of what's expected or what we need versus it makes a, it makes a huge difference. I, I'd say a lot a lot of people want liver, mm -hmm. and for that reason, most providers will do this case under ultrasound guidance, mm -hmm. so they'll know where they're putting their forceps. Got a rate limiting step of the procedure is calvarium. Calvarium. The head is basically the biggest part. Most of the other stuff can come out intact. Right. It's very rare to have a patient that doesn't have enough dilation to evacuate all the other bring them, so, To bring the body cavity out exactly. intact and all that. Um, so then you just cut a cognizant of where you put your prosperous. Um, you try to intentionally go above and below the thorax so that, you know, we've been very good at getting parts on the liver. Because we know that, so I'm not going to crush that part. I'm going to basically crush below, I'm going to crush above, and I'm going to see if I can get it all intact. And with the calvarium, in general, some people will actually try to change the uh, presentation so that it's not a vertex. So it's a vertex presentation. You never have enough dilation in the beginning unless you have real huge amount of dilation to deliver an intact calvarium. So if you do it starting from the breach presentation, there's dilation that happens as the case goes on and often the last you can evacuate an intact calvarium. Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted lungs. I uh -huh. um, and then, but like I said, always as many intact livers as possible. People just want yeah, livers. Yeah, livers. People want lower extremities right too, which that's, that's set up. I mean, that's easy. I don't know what they're doing with it. I guess they want muscle. But. Yeah, a dime a dozen. <laughs> Senator Ted Cruz is here in moments with a dramatic proposal on this. But first, Trace Gallagher takes us through how Planned Parenthood and its supporters are now defending this video. Trace. Megan, the two-hour, 42-minute video plus the full transcript was released by the Center for Medical Progress, or CMP, a pro-life group based here in Southern California. The video shows the lunch meeting between the actors posing as the buyers of the fetal tissue and that woman, Planned Parenthood's Senior Director of Medical Services. Now, CMP claims the video documents how Planned Parenthood is selling fetal organs for profit, which is a felony. Listen to part of the conversation where the Medical Services Director talks about the various pricing. Listen. What, what price range would you... You know, I, I'm going to throw a number out. I would say it's probably anywhere from $30 to $100, depending on the facility and what's involved. The director went on to say that Planned Parenthood affiliates are nonprofits, but if they can do better than break even, they are, quote, happy to do that and that affiliates don't want to be perceived as making money off this. But Planned Parenthood claims it is only reimbursed for expenses. CMP also claims that Planned Parenthood is using ultrasound to manipulate the fetus so that it comes out feet first and preserves more organs. Listen again. To bring the body cavity out exactly. and tackle all that. Um, so then you just kind of pop this in of where you put your brass um, you try to intentionally go above and below the thorax so that, you know, we've been very good at getting parts on the liver. Because we know that, so I'm not going to crush that part. I'm going to basically crush below, I'm going to crush above. 
Planned Parenthood issued a statement saying, quote, these outrageous claims are flat out untrue, but that doesn't matter to politicians with a long-standing political agenda to ban abortion and defund Planned Parenthood. House Speaker John Boehner has already called for congressional hearings on Planned Parenthood's abortion practices, and most GOP presidential contenders have also called for pulling federal funding, including Ben Carson. When I first saw it, I thought it was a hoax. Um, but then I came to realize that that was actually real, that, that we have sunk to that level of barbarism and that it doesn't even bother some people. Uh, they've become numb to, to that degree of, of indifference and uh, lack of caring about human life. And while both sides accuse each other of lying, it's the video getting more and more attention. Megan. Trace, thank you. A number of media outlets today defended Planned Parenthood, attacking this video as a sting operation intended to make the group look bad. While on the other side, conservatives were outraged by what they saw, with writer Michelle Malkin posting an op-ed that reads in part, what kind of country do we live in where law-abiding businesses are fined, threatened, and demonized for refusing to bake gay wedding cakes, but barbaric baby butchers are hailed by feminists, Hollywood, and a president who asked God to bless them? God help us. Joining me now, Dana Lash, author of Hands Off My Gun and the host of Dana on the Blaze TV, and Robert Zimmerman, a Democratic strategist and DNC committee member from New York. I, let's talk about the barbarism of it. The legality is, is up for debate. I realize that. I have my own opinions as a lawyer. But the, the barbarism of her callous tone, Dana, as she discusses yeah. the crushing of fetus organs. Yeah. And Megan, thanks for having me on this issue too. Uh, Dr. Nukatola there, it is, it's, I, I just, the casual way that she spoke about this, she's having a glass of red wine, she's uh, eating a salad, and she's talking about lungs and hearts and livers and appendages, arms and legs, just, you know, like it's just a regular day and they're talking about parts for a car. This is how far we have sunk. Where is the humanity in this? And where's the consistency in this as well? There's all of this outrage from Planned Parenthood, but why would there be outrage? Why are they trying to spin it? If a life is a life, then they have something to hide. But if, I, I don't know, this, it infuriates me to the point where it makes me nauseous, Megan. I was nauseous watching this video. What infuriates me, Megan, is the fraud behind this video. Let's call it what it is. This is right-wing pornography. The same individuals who produced this video Whoa. have been called out by the press repeatedly, mainstream and even conservative press, for the same individuals producing this film that you featured tonight have been nailed for, for producing films they that have been misleading, have been Dr. misleading, Nucatella. have been editing. Excuse talk me. about no Robert okay. they didn't make Dr. Nucatella talk about crushing fetal no, but they organs edited the film and, and trying they... to to get a breech delivery so that she could preserve the head for someone to no, dissect but Megan, Megan they edited the film to represent misleading and often false, false. statements she's let's not talk, even claiming that false. Planned Parenthood's defense is that this isn't illegal it's no, not that Dr. Nugatella didn't it's, say what she said. No, Megan, that's not correct. Yes, their, it is their, correct. Their, their defense is simply that Dr. Nugatella never made the statement. That, in fact, that's one of their defenses, in fairness to your point. She, they, but the she full also, their three hours is on of the money. Video. It's on Excuse the money. Me. Go ahead, Dana. The, 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 the edited, unedited the, there, No, Robert, on, you ahead, are Dana. so incorrect. Robert, I found the full raw video. It is over two hours of raw video. And the entire then transcript you know. accompanies that full. No, no, no. Then I do know. Yeah, you, you are know right, you Robert. I do saw, know. Excuse where me. you let do finish, not. Wait, are you saying that Dr. Nucatella lied? Did Dr. Nucatella lie? Who lied here, Robert? Planned Parenthood or Dr. Film. Deborah Nucatella? Excuse Those me. are your only choices. My, 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 my go point, ahead, Megan. Okay, go ahead, Robert. Very simply, what Dr. Nucatella said, if you saw the unedited transcript, were comments like, nobody should be selling tissue. That is not the goal here. That, okay. And she, and, and in but fact, let me tell you, let me, fact, let me just stop you because I'm not produced, taking it to that debate. My point? I'm not taking, no, because you're off point. Okay. As a lawyer, I will tell you, I think this is very legally problematic, but I'm intentionally not making it about that. And I'm not even making it about a pro-life, pro-life, pro-choice thing. I'm talking about the absence of any humanity on her part as she performs these abortions for the solemnity of the moment and the respect for the potential of human life, Megan, regardless you of your concern? position on abortion. 
Megan, do you have any concern about how misleading and then how misleading and false this film is? How it creates false impressions and it's nothing more than a scam by the right What's wing misleading? to defund Planned Parenthood. Where is your humanity on this, Robert? Where What's is your misleading? humanity on this? She is she is guzzling down wine and stuffing her face full of salad while she talks about the end of a potential life. This is I'm not saying that that, that this is a, a testament against abortion not, altogether. I'm saying there ought to be some humanity and respect for the dignity of a potential right. potential Megan, life. Megan, there also be some respect and some respect for the truth and some dignity in terms of presenting the truth. The so what who she did said this was, film, Robert, Robert, what did she say that was false? Well, what the, what the people who produced the film said was false. She no, never talked what about did Dr. 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 say that Let was me false. just ask you this. Dana, Dana, I want to ask you, because there's another part of the video where she talks about just today I did a 17-weeker and, and what I got from this 17-weeker. Yes. I just want to show the audience, this is what a 17-weeker looks like. Our, this is not a pro-choice argument right now or a pro-life argument right now, but this is a 17-weeker. And the, the, the gruesomeness of her attitude is what has resonated with people in watching this, even pro-choice people, Dana. Right. And, and Planned Parenthood, Megan, wonders why they falter with public support with things like this. Quite to the contrary, uh, Dana. Right. I mean, this is, Robert, I'm making, Robert, Robert, I'm making Robert, I'm Robert, I'm speaking, I'm speaking, Robert. That the, I mean, this is why Planned Parenthood falters with support, because this, there is, you're right, there is no humanity here. These are children. They're children enough to be considered viable enough from which to harvest and sell organs. And that there is no humanity, that there is no consideration, no sensitivity for this moment, that it can be so casually discussed so let me get over this wine straight, and Dana. salad. Okay. Do you I'm, you Robert, I'm still speaking. Uh, That's what that I'm, sound I'm is. You're going to give you the last word. Not making a point. I mean, is there any concern? No, I am, but you keep interrupting, so I'm going to do the same thing to you, Robert. How do you like it? This right. documentary was complete, was condensed, it was edited, it was misleading, and False. Forbes magazine and other False. national media have called them out for False. that. Okay, we're going we're gonna to leave it at that. Listen, I, I believe you both came here with sincere views, and, Absolutely. and I respect both of you for being here. It, it's obviously a loaded, you, it is a loaded issue, and it is a tough issue. Yeah. And normally we don't go to the darkest place on this show, but that video needed to be discussed. Thank As you do both. the facts around that video and the misleading representation. Thank you, Megan. Robert. We All right. appreciate it. Thank you. We That's appreciate it. you showing the truth. All Thank right. you. Thank you both. Again, Senator Ted Cruz vowed to take action after seeing this video. He will join us in minutes to explain.